Today we are talking about holding on to your faith. Now that's easy when things are going your way. When everything is great, it's easy to say that God is good. But holding on to your faith in tough times is a different story. When everything feels like it's falling apart, it's hard to remember that God is in control. That's when you need your faith to remind you that God is still good. We can read the Bible and see folks that held on to their faith, and many good folks who didn't do so well in hard times. We are just like them. Sometimes we're strong, and other times not so much. But God loves us just the same, and He is still there doing what is best for all of us. Here's a story about some of Jesus' best friends and what happened to their faith in a hard situation. This is Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. They were brothers and sisters, and they were really good friends with Jesus. Jesus loved them all very much. One time, Jesus was away teaching, and Lazarus became sick. In fact, he was very, very sick, and they all knew he was probably going to die. Mary and Martha immediately thought about Jesus. They knew he was the Son of God and could heal their brother. They sent messengers to tell Jesus to come home quickly, but Jesus waited. In fact, he waited for two days before he headed home. That may seem unkind, but remember, Jesus knows everything, and he was in control of this situation too. Now Lazarus became even more sick. Soon he passed away. They wrapped bandages and cloths around his body and placed him in a tomb type of grave. Jesus finally made it back. Now Lazarus had been dead for four days. Martha ran to where Jesus was walking. Lord, if you would have come, you could have saved my brother, she said. Jesus said, your brother will rise again, Martha. Now Martha thought he was talking about eternal life, but Jesus had a special miracle plan. He asked to see Mary. Martha returned and told her that Jesus wanted to see her. She ran from the house to go to him. Friends and family that were comforting them saw her rush out and they followed her. They thought she must be going to the graveside to cry and mourn. Mary fell to her knees crying when she got to Jesus. Why didn't you come right when we sent for you? As she cried, all the friends and family started crying with her. Jesus asked where they buried Lazarus. Then he began to cry with them. Jesus cried because his friends were hurting. One of his friends said, see how much he loved Lazarus? while some of the other friends said he healed a blind man so he could have surely saved his friend. Martha and Mary and their friends should have known that Jesus could do anything, that Jesus was there for a reason. But Jesus wasn't mad. Instead, in that moment, he cried with his friends, knowing they couldn't understand everything. Next, Jesus went to the tomb. He yelled, Lazarus, come out of that tomb. Suddenly, Lazarus appeared in the doorway of the tomb. He was walking. He still had bandages around his head, feet, and hands. Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. What a happy moment for that family. Now, Jesus doesn't bring everyone back to life because he knows that eternal life for those who believe in him is the best place for his children. But he brought Lazarus back to life so that Martha and Mary's faith would be restored. He brought Lazarus back so that you and I could read this story and realize that God is still good even when we think things are going bad. I bet Martha and Mary had stronger faith after they saw what Jesus did. So what about you? Are you going through something sad or scary and you've forgotten that God knows what he's doing? It's okay. God knows what you are going through and he is crying with you. He also knows the end of your story. He knows what's best for you and what is going to happen. Hold on to your faith. Trust that God is with you. Faith can get you through the toughest situations. Here are three take-home tips to help you hold on to your faith when you're going through hard times. Take one. Pray about everything. Take two. Study the stories in the Bible. Take three. Remember that God can do anything. Remember, treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great week.